totally understand what it's like to be busy. <laughs> so my point is to actually be able to pull this thing off and plan your wedding without being a total hot mess express, you are going to need a routine. blushing brides welcome back to my channel I'm Kyle James and today's video is for all of you busy brides out there we're going to talk about how in the world are you going to get all of this done at one time I was a financial analyst working 60 hours a week or more and running my wedding planning business on the side at another point I was running my planning business running a social media agency and planning my own wedding all at once. And now I am super pregnant, chasing around a toddler, and filming videos every single week to help you girls plan your own weddings. So I understand the feeling of being so freaking busy, but also trying to plan the perfect wedding as well. I've been doing it for a long time now, so I've come up with a few really good tips on how to get all of this done and still be a functional and happy human being. So here's my secret, routines. Routines are how busy girls get stuff done. Some of you might be rolling your eyes like I don't do structure, but stick with me here. I'm a total free spirit, do things on a whim, procrastinator, it will all work out kind of girl. But I have learned that having a structure and a routine built into my big projects and the big stuff that I wanna get done has actually helped me out a ton and made me feel a lot more free. Because I know that I'm going to get my stuff done and I'm gonna have it done on time. Um, so it's not like sitting there in the back of my mind stressing me out when I'm not working on it. So my point is, in order to get your wedding planned without being a total hot mess express, you are going to need some routine. Don't worry, I am about to lay it all out for you exactly how to do this. So let's talk about your wedding planning routine. The first thing that you need to do is set aside a time each week to work on wedding planning. Schedule it in your calendar so that you know that that is your wedding planning time and you aren't going to schedule anything else over that. I would suggest doing like a Saturday or a Sunday morning. You just really need a time that you can unplug from everything else and focus completely on working on your wedding. I would block off two hours for this every single week leading up to your wedding day. You might not necessarily need two hours most weeks, um, but it would be nice to have that time set aside for the days that you really do need to sit down and get in a major planning session. It's super important to just be in a good state every time you sit down to do your wedding planning. So do what you got to do. Do some yoga, meditate, <laughs> go for a walk, maybe go grab a coffee or sit down in your favorite coffee shop. Just like make sure that you feel good when you're doing this. Um, because that's when you're really going to be able to get stuff done and actually be able to create something amazing. All right, so every single week when you sit down, you're going to do three things. Number one is a timeline check-in. So you're going to go through your timeline, your checklists. Um, I have a bunch of videos on those. I'll be sure to link them below. So, but you're going to sit down and look at where you are and what you need to be working on. I suggest reviewing the previous week and making sure that you got everything done for that. Um, and then looking forward into the next week and deciding on three musts that need to be done that week. If you know that you have a super busy week with work or a super busy week socially or whatever, then they don't need to be huge tasks choose the size of your tasks based on the week ahead. The second thing that you're going to do is a budget update. You are going to fill in your budget. Um, I will link my budget video and worksheet below if you have not already seen that. Um, but you need to go through and fill it in on anything that you may have booked or any money that you may have spent and just get an updated version of your number so you know how much you've spent so far. And then also, um, since you've already decided what you're going to work on that week, be sure that you are reviewing the budget for that and seeing how much you have to spend 
on whatever you're working on that week. And then the third thing you're going to do is a work sesh. With whatever time you have left over after you do your timeline and budget review, which for the most part will be most of the time, um, those first two things usually go pretty quickly, um, but you're going to just start working on those three musts researching vendors, watching videos on how to book each vendor, um, maybe you're contacting vendors and setting up tours, maybe you're going on tours, stuff like that. And note that you are working on your three musts. I highly suggest like writing them out and having them in front of you during this work sesh because it's so easy to, um, sorry I'm so out of breath because <laughs> I'm so pregnant, um, but it's so easy to like sit down and like have your timeline and have your must and then get on Pinterest and start scrolling. Don't do that. Make sure that you are really using this time to get the things done on your checklist so that you are actually making progress. People feel a lot more busy than they are because they're not using their time wisely. So if you are, especially if you're a super busy bride and you have a lot of other things going on, be sure that you are selecting the things that you actually need to work on and then actually working on them during this time. You can scroll through Pinterest other times, like in the office. Just kidding. <laughs> well, seriously. <laughs> this is not the time to scroll through Pinterest unless you are working on something that requires it. All right, so that's gonna be your weekly planning routine. Super easy. Um, and you'll get in the habit of it and so you'll know exactly what you need to do and you'll kind of like be prepped and you'll like blow through this and you'll get everything checked off. Um, but there also is another piece to this and that is your monthly check-in routine. So basically once a month, one of these planning sessions is going to be just a little bit more intense. So on your monthly check-in, um, you are going to go through your checklist and write out everything that needs to be done for that month. This will make it super easy to know what you need to be doing each week. You just have that small little list to choose from and you know exactly what needs to be done. So you can even break it down by week if you want to write it all out. Um, so you'll take that checklist. So say you're in your 10 to 12 months out. You'll take that checklist, break it down by month, and then um, you'll know exactly what you need to get done for that month. If it is one of those months where you're at the beginning of a new checklist, um, I kind of break them down like 10 to 12 months out, seven to nine months out. I'll link all those videos below, but if you are at the beginning of a new one, I would suggest breaking down that entire checklist between the three months so that you know that you're going to get it all done. Just taking the little extra time once a month to, um, kind of divvy out this checklist will make your weekly planning sessions go by quicker and easier and also will like kind of give you peace of mind that you're getting it all done. You know what you have coming up and you know what you need to do. I would also suggest having your fiance involved at least on these monthly check-ins once a month so that you can discuss everything that's going on and you can divide up tasks between you and make sure that your partner knows what they need to be helping you with or what they need to be working on as well. If your partner is super busy or doesn't really want to be that involved in the planning process, just have them attend the first part of this meeting where you're going through your timeline and your budget just so that they know exactly what's going on um, and you can fill them in on the major details that they need to know. P.S. I am doing an entire video on how to involve your partner in the planning process, um, no matter how involved they wanna be. So be sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss that. So basically, in case you haven't noticed, planning a wedding is just a huge project. But breaking it down into these little bite-sized chunks is how you are going to be able to get it done no matter how busy you are in your life. So even if you identify as like a free spirit or a procrastinator, um, let's just not do that for your wedding planning process, especially if you're planning your wedding yourself. Um, I highly recommend just doing this. You don't have to do it in every single area of your life. Just try it for your wedding planning process. Um, and I know it will help you out so much. I think it will make you feel just so much better and less stressed. Um, and actually you'll be able to get a lot more done than you ever thought possible. <laughs> I can tell you from experience. I've done it both ways and this is definitely the way to go. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know. Also be sure to share it with your other engaged friends. I post new wedding planning videos every single Wednesday. 
So be sure that you are subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss any of those. And we will see you next time. Happy planning!